First of all, my warmest greetings to the young students for this uh, week of space science uh, where we are celebrating the enthusiasm of the youngsters in participating in the space sciences activity. You know, I'm basically a solar physicist and that was an area in which I got some 50 years ago. I can still maintain that I have not been able to understand my son so well. Now you might say there, you only see the surface layers of the sun. How can you then tell what the internal layers of the sun are like? What is the temperature in the solar core? What is the density like there? How do you know that the sun is manufacturing its energy by nuclear processes? Because the nuclear furnace is on in the interior, that's why the sun is shining with unvarying brightness. The sun is a lifeline. You must always realize that with life on the earth. The sun-earth connection is very deep. And the sun, when it plays havoc and becomes very unstable, can lead to uh, the occurrence of flares, phenomenon of coronal mass ejections, whereby huge plasma is being uh, ejected from the solar surface into the space outside and it can cause havoc here in the Earth's atmosphere and even on the Earth by interfering with the communication channels and what have you. This is really a week where we must celebrate the space sciences because space sciences have added a new dimension to our understanding of the Sun-Earth relationship. And it's our duty to understand what role the sun has to play in our lives. Thank you.